Hello and welcome to the Road to Success podcast. This is Landstar's podcast dedicated to small business owners in the freight industry. I'm your host, Marla Walter. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe on your podcast app. On this episode of The Road to Success, we catch up with the 2021 Landstar Rookie Agent of the Year, Matt Emer. Matt is an independent Landstar agent and owner of Golden Logistics Solutions. Welcome to the podcast, Matt. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Marla. So first, let's hear a little bit about Golden Logistics. Where are you? Major areas of service. Tell us about your agency. Yeah, so I'm outside of Chicago uh, in Highland Park, Illinois. I'm about 25 miles north of the city. Um, as far as you know, areas I service, um, all 48 states, uh, Canada, so Mexico. Essentially, if you need wheels, I can provide them. I know you have a strong sales background, so you've got to have an elevator pitch. Lay it on me. Let me hear it. Um, sure. Uh, just really kind of just high level. Um, I introduced myself. Hi, my name is Matt Emer. Um, I'm an independent agent with, uh, independent agent with Landstar. Um, I've got a lot of experience working freight brokerage. Um, I have trucks rolling all over the country. Um, really, what are you looking for? How can I help? I'm here for you. Has talking to customers gotten easier over the years or is it still something that uh, you have to really prep for before you go in and do? Um, so my background is really customer focused. Um, I was at a large 3PL at the start of my career for about five or six years. That was almost entirely customer focused. Um, after that, I actually went over to another 3PL where I ran the inside sales team. Um, so again, customer focused as well. And also while running that team, I helped do a lot of the carrier sourcing as well. So um, pretty well balanced on both sides, but really in the last, you know, 10, 11, 12 years, whatever it is, had been customer focused. So obviously based on that background to be considered for Landstar's Rookie of the Year, you don't necessarily have to be new to the industry. You just have to have worked with Landstar as an independent agent for less than two years. So what made you decide to join the Landstar Network? Um, so when I, you know, was kind of going through all the different uh, agency options out there, um, the thing about Landstar that really stood out to me, um, it's kind of twofold. Uh, the first thing that Landstar is obviously a very stable, well-run, you know, very well-organized company, been around for a long time, obviously a lot of growth year over year. That was very attractive to me. Um, the other side of it was, uh, the BCOs, uh, the Landstar drivers, um, especially coming from, you know, a real brokerage background. I never really had the chance to sell actual assets. Um, so Landstar certainly provided that and it's just another way to stand out to customers. Um, how was the transition? Um, for me, um, you know, I, you know, the first month, maybe six weeks or so was a little bit slower, you know, trying to kind of just get my feet under me, kind of figure out what kind of customers to call, um, how to, you know, pitch and sell Landstar, how to differentiate myself from the other 50,000 freight brokers out there. Um, once I figured that out, you know, I, you know, being on the customer side for so long, I did have some customers lined up. So it was pretty easy to kind of just get them on board and get up and running pretty quickly. Do you have any advice for agents who have a lot of experience already, but are considering um, joining the Landstar Network? Um, absolutely. Um, it's kind of twofold again. The first being Landstar that, you know, Landstar is a very recognizable name out there. Um, I think, in, you know, the, the transport topics, you know, top two PL list, I think Landstar came in at like eight or something last year, something like that. Um, so obviously the names out there, don't be afraid. You know, everybody knows Landstar, big and small. Don't be afraid to use that name. Um, and also, you know, find really just find your niche. Um, you know, for me, it's something, you know, something specific for you. It could be something else. Um, find that area where, you know, there are pain points for customers and really attack that. What is your niche? If you don't mind sharing. Um, sure. Um, so I do a lot of expedited and partial truckloads. So call it, you know, six to 16 pallets, something like that. Um, cut those, those, those types of shipments, the customers don't want to pay a full truckload rate, um, but they want that truckload service. Um, so I'm able to provide that. Is that something that you just saw that, like you said, that pain point, you identified that need in the market and you found a way to meet it? With uh, those customers that have that kind of, that size of shipment, you know, going to L, you know, common LTL carriers, like, you know, FedEx or YRC, whatever. Um, the, the rates were good, but the service wasn't there. It would take, you know, a week to go 200 miles. So just seeing that, saying, hey, I could probably do it next day or worst case, two days, um, that's really set me apart. 
I'm always curious, how did you get involved in transportation logistics to begin with? That's a good question. Um, I kind of, you know, I graduated college in, this might be dating me, uh, 2010. Um, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, at that time, you know, three fields were going, were growing like, like crazy. Um, I had friends, they said they loved it. You know, it's fast paced, different every single day. So I gave it a shot when I was 20, I guess I was 23. Um, haven't left. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, it's been a good run. I would say so. <laughs> I would definitely I'm trying every day. I'm trying every day. Not done yet. <laughs> uh, which actually brings us to kind of the headline of the podcast, your award. Uh, tell me a little bit about the moment when you found out you won Landstar Agent Rookie of the Year. Like my, my area manager was like hinting at it. You know, he wouldn't tell me yes or no for sure. I had an idea. I think he was being a little sly with me. Um, I, I knew I knew there was a chance, uh, but you know, I wasn't positive until again uh, that Friday morning. So exciting! I mean, and you yeah. you put in the work. So I would have thought for sure you knew because I know that you've put in a lot of work over the past year. Again, I, you know, I I had a feeling, you know, but I just wasn't positive. You know, I don't like to take any, you know, nothing, you know, um, nothing's guaranteed till you have it, you know. So I, I didn't want to get my hopes up in case I didn't get it. Yeah, that's. I mean, especially in a room like that at Agent Convention, I know there's yeah, there was there there's a few people there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just a few. Um, well, in a little over a year, you brought in five million dollars in Landstar revenue, and and by yourself, I was shocked honestly to find out that you didn't have a team and a staff and co agents, but you did this just you. How'd you do it? Well, to, to be fair, I do have um, a three-year-old, my daughter. She works for me nights. She answers the phone. Um, outside of that, yeah, it's by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was going to ask, because I, I had also heard that uh, that you guys had a, had a baby pretty much right around the uh, same time that you were starting to get things going. Yeah, so he's uh, about 13 months now. I started in August of 2020. So, um, yeah, he was about... You know, six months after I started, he uh, he came around. So it was a little hectic. <laughs> so you, you're just trying to stay like a, a good businessman, a few steps ahead, thinking ahead of who your next co-agent's going to be. Um, I hopefully they're already in the house. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I know it can't be easy juggling kids at home, especially a new baby, new business. Um. How do you balance it? Um, well, you know, during the day, you know, I've got time to myself. Obviously, they're actually in daycare. Um, and it just, you know, the fact that, you know, I could do it all on my phone and, you know, with it being so flexible, being my own boss, it's just, you know, working with the people who understand what I'm doing and say, hey, you know, I can't talk at the moment. Text me. Or I'll get back to you in 15 minutes. Um, just identifying those customers and those, you know, carriers or drivers, whoever it is, and just um, explaining what's going on, you know. At the end of the day, everybody's understanding. They just want to, you know, move the freight. So as long as, you know, they're willing to work with me, you know, I'm very easy to work with. How does Landstar help you provide better customer service? Um, clarity, for one, you know, that, uh, that, you know, the map view or online track, whatever you want to call it, it's obviously very helpful. I don't have to make, you know, phone calls or emails or texts to find out where drivers are. Just knowing where they are after a couple of clicks is very helpful. Um, and as far as, you know, just setting myself apart, um, it's just, you know, promptness in responding, whether it's good news or bad news or no news, just the fact that, you know, I get back to people, I strive for five minutes or less, sometimes it's six minutes. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, that promptness and just, you know, open communication, you know, in transportation, um, things aren't always going to go super smoothly. Um, so it's just, you know, explaining it, you know, being on top of what's going on and having resolution, you know, ready to go. And you mentioned clarity. Any other Landstar tech that you feel like is essential to your business? Uh, the TMS, obviously. Um, I, you know, when I first started, I was on leads for maybe call it six months or something. I was up and running pretty quickly on a on a TMS. Have you found that clarity helps reduce the amount of hands-on time that you have to spend calling drivers and things like that? You know, it's much easier to you know scroll over to clarity and click on two tabs versus, you know, going to my phone and dialing a number. Maybe they don't answer texting somebody. It takes 20 minutes. 
just, you know, name of the game is speed. So just having that information at my fingertips has been very helpful. What's next for Golden Logistics? People keep asking me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this year, you know, I'm, I'm on pace to grow um, probably by about 30%. Um, I would like to, um, you know, double from what I did in 2021. I think maybe by the end of this year, maybe, you know, be on pace for it next year. Um, and after that, you know, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can handle that, that type of volume. If I can't, I might be looking for somebody, um, but we'll see. That was going to be my next question is how will you know if and when it's time for you to instead be a one man band to, to look uh, for some help? I've got a lot of hair right now. If I notice it receding or falling out, I think that's probably the right time. <laughs> that's your metric. <laughs> Um, that, or, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm in constant contact with my customers with feedbacks. Hey, you know, you're a little bit slower, your rates are a little higher. You know, um, I think, you know, if I could probably have more time to do things like that and I need it, that's what I'll know. Actually, it's a good segue to our, um, road to success podcast question where we have BCOs and agents call in and leave their answers. And the question for this episode is what qualities or skills would you look for in a business partner, employee or employee? And so I'm curious to see what your answer would be. Um, biggest thing for me, I would say, is, you know, that open line of communication. Um, again, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, no news, whatever it is, um, I need to know, um, you know, because at the end of the day, being a broker, um, yes, I'm brokering trucks, but I'm also brokering information as well. Um, so as long as, you know, I've got that open line of communication, you know, and timely responses, that, that's the thing that I'm looking for. And obviously also, um, um, what's the word? Um, like owning, owning the business, you know, I don't want to be the only person who cares the most of somebody I bring on or, you know, a partner of mine uh, wants to come on. I want them to, you know, own the business as well. As nice. take ownership, not, not own it like myself, but take ownership and like, like, you know, treat right. it like it's theirs. Thank you so much for taking time to be on the road to success and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's hear from some other agents and Landstar independent owner operators. The road to success podcast question for this episode is what quality or skills do you look for when hiring an employee or a business partner? Thank you for listening to the Road to Success podcast. Be sure to hit subscribe so you're the first to get the next episode. Stay safe, stay successful.